Hey, what's happening, guys? It's my favorite time of the year. It's the time when all the dollar stores start stocking their super cheap Chinese crap for Christmas. And Dollar General, the one just two blocks from my house, I found this today. The Presto Play Outlet Extender for $20. Make outlets easy to reach. Move furniture, move outlets from behind furniture. Two AC outlets, two USB ports. Four foot cord, surge protection. Peel and stick. Enjoy power where you need it. Great for nightstands, couches, offices, and more. No tools, no wiring, no mess. As seen on TV. And you know, if it says as seen on TV, that means it's good. Oh, it even has a phone shelf. What more could you want? I don't know. This might be really cool. Or it might be hot garbage. But we're going to find out. All right, let's see what we got here. 20% off your next purchase. Yeah, you know, for the next house you buy after this one burns is one you're currently living in down. Instruction manual, blah, blah, blah. How to mount it. Wow, and absolutely nothing on the electrical specifications. Presto plug, thousand watts. Ontel product, batch code. <laughs> That's what around eight, nine amps. If we can get in here, I would love to use this. Let's do some preliminary tests first. Let's grab a meter and we are going to put it in continuity mode. You guys can hear that, I assume. So the first thing I want to test is, does the grounding actually go through? Did they hook up the grounds? Good. Next thing I want to test are these USBs. I want to make sure that nothing from the mains it's coming to the USB. If anything here is live, if I get any continuity, then this 100% isn't safe to use, but I'm not having any problems with it. Let me just go back through here, make sure I get all the pins. And finally, ground good so it passes my initial safety test is it electrical cords yeah there's no underwriters lab No. All right, let me see if I can get in here. I'm not going to make any guarantees. I'm going to cut away a little bit of the uh, double-sided tape. And hopefully, that's going to be enough to get us in. 
We're going to find out here in a second. My biggest worry now is these wires. And what gauge they are. My guess is they're probably like 18 gauge. Which I don't consider household wiring at all. Okay. Oh yeah, we're in. <laughs> so let's see what do we have here. Not much. The wiring, the wire is definitely 18 gauge. There's an unpopulated place for a mauve, which, I mean, it's all right. Let's uh, remove this clamp. Let me get that out of the way here and get a look at the underside of the board. Yeah. What do we got here? What do we got here? Uh-huh. All right. Well, they definitely haven't skimped on the solder. You can see here they've tinned over these rails for coverage. A five pin chip there. Those are usually microcontrollers. There's our bridge rectifier. Now there's our separation slot. And it's got that capacitor right on it. But I don't know how well you can see this, so I'm going to blow this up for you. Yeah, if you look in that hole, you can see the capacitor is coming across that hole it is breaching some of that space so you know that's probably what a two mil spacing yeah you've lost a third of it there to this capacitor right here now down here where they've done the bridge rectifier it's fine i mean the bridge rectifier obviously crosses the gap but that's the way that's designed I would have preferred to find these glued in. But other than that, you know, we've got our safety capacitor here. We've got our reservoir caps here. We've got another safety cap here. We've got our inductor. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. Safety wise, all right. So, I'm gonna put it back together and then I'll be right back. All right, all back together, good as new. If you were to buy something like this to use it in your home, keep in mind this is not for any sort of appliance that has a motor in it. You can't be plugging your vacuum cleaner into this, a hair dryer, microwave oven anything like that you know this is strictly low power plug a lamp in a radio a dvd player if you still own such a thing but check the appliances you would want to plug into this look for their maximum power rating probably give it to you in watts remember this is a thousand watts you know be the smart engineer give yourself some safety uh cushion it says a thousand watts I wouldn't use anything over 800 on it you stay like that it's probably safe to use
All right, I'm gonna plug it in. Mm, nothing bad is happening, so. Let's get a voltage reading. Generally around here, about 123 or so volts. I'm just having trouble getting it onto the those little clips in there. 123.6. That's fine. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to test these USB ports. So stick around. Okay, we're ready for testing the USB. So what I've got here is a USB on one end, a couple of alligator clips on the other end. This is my constant current load. I have the voltage cutoff set for 4.8 volts. If it drops any lower than 4.8 volts, we want to know. And we're going to start out at a half an amp. So in this case, my orange is the ground. White is the positive. Here we go. All right, let's hit it at half an amp. So at a half an amp, it's dropping to four point six volts. All right, let's take it down to 200 milliamps. At 200 milliamps, it's at 4.9 volts. Wow. All right, can I adjust my, yep. 300 milliamps, 4.85 volts. I'm guessing the next turn of the wheel. At 0.4, we're 4. Point, just about the same. All right, let's take it up. Half, and we're down. So... Four hundred milliamps max on the USB here. Otherwise, the voltage drops too low. Still, I don't think it's bad. I mean, it's going to take longer to charge your phone, but it's safe. It outputs the voltage. It does USB. Yeah, it's worth twenty bucks. I don't know, but I think you're going to see it here because for me, it's just going to be useful to have around on the bench and just, you know, have an outlet where I need it. So. I think I'm going to keep it. We'll use it. We'll see what she does. Again, that was the Presto Plug Outlet Extender. 20 bucks, and I bought it from Dollar General. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And don't ever take electrical stuff apart at your own house. It's not worth dying over. That's it. I'm out. Peace.